<laughs> Welcome everyone to our Sunday World Meditation Prayer. My name is Dimitri Mraitis, and along with Barbara Martin, we're co-founders of Spiritual Arts Institute. Uh, we do these Sunday prayers to send light to the world and to receive the energy ourselves, as well as any inspiration or guidance that we may be given. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time, we're going to open with a little meditation. Uh, you, in our meditative work, you're, you're sitting in a comfortable chair like this. Your legs are uncrossed, feet are flat on the floor. Uh, you close your eyes. Take a deep breath and envision about two feet above your head a golden white sun and that the energy we'll be calling upon is flowing down from that into your aura. Okay, we'll begin. Heavenly Father, Holy Mother, God, we enter into thy infinite circle of living light, love, and peace. We ask now that you raise our consciousness into thy consciousness where we become one with you. We ask to receive that which we need and that which we need to know now. Put your attention at that golden white sun above your head, about two feet above your head. That is your higher self point. Let go of any concerns or worries and feel that you are standing on sacred ground. And now we ask that you downray to us now the deep rose pink of thy spiritual love, the unconditional, ever-present love of the divine. Thank you as this comes down as a beautiful, gentle energy of kindness and consideration. Let that light bless the higher self point, that golden sun above your head, so that you feel marvelously in tune with your divine nature, your divine self. and that there's a loving rapport with that divine self. Thank you for downraying this into our mental center, filling our mind with thoughts of love, compassion, and kindness. down to the throat center and the power of the words. And truly our words have power, spiritual power. And let our words go out in greater tones of compassion and consideration. And let us only accept words from others that come from that loving place. And thank you as this deep rose pink blesses the hermetic center, the heart chakra, so that we really feel that love in our heart. If there's anyone in our life we need to forgive or ask forgiveness of, that we can do it. If there's anything, any wounds of the heart that need healing right now, this loving light can transmute that energy. Help us to be more generous in our expression of love and also generous in the receiving, allowing others to love us. Thank you for downraying this light to the emotional center, a chakra point by our navel. And this is our feeling nature. 
the part of the auric field where feelings are registered and expressed. And let there be more love in that emotional nature. If we're feeling at all lonely or let down or disappointed or frustrated, release all those vibrations to step in this vibration of unconditional love. We know we're valuable. We know we're precious in the eyes of the divine. Thank you as this energy outrays through the physical body, helping in any healing that might be going on there right now and out through the whole auric field, bathing the aura in this loving light and even beyond the perimeter of the aura, so that we are radiating this. And if we are in any environments right now where the loving kindness is not strong for whatever reason, to make sure we stay in our own force field of love and let the light and love go to those other people from their higher nature. And now we th see a golden light of protection surrounding us. We thank thee that this is so, so be it. And after a meditation like this, you give it a moment to let the light equalize. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, again, it's so wonderful to see everybody. It's hard to believe we're almost two weeks to the end of the year, <laughs> 2020, the end of the decade, as they say. Um, uh, that is an amazing thing. Um, as we've mentioned before, this is a wonderful time to look back on the year, to see how you did, and um, also how you handled things. How you're, where were you in consciousness throughout the year, and where do you see yourself now, and of course, what are your goals for next year? We can start evaluating that or preparing for that. Um, as we were meditating today, or, or to see who to, what to work with, the energy came in very strongly, the golden ray of wisdom light. And particularly in relation to fear. You know, there is a lot of, of course, concerns right now. Right, we have health concerns, we have financial concerns, um, things. There is some light at the end of the tunnel. The big deal that there was a an approved vaccine that seems to be enormously effective, but it's going to take a while to roll that out, and there's going to be further testing. There's still a, a journey through all of that, and we're, shall we say, in in the winter of all of this right now, coming upon us. And this is the time where we need to be the most careful and we need to be the strongest. Uh, if a storm has come upon us, we just have to weather the storm. Now, fear is an interesting, well, <laughs> interesting, I don't know if it's the right word, but uh, it's, it's, first of all, in the aura, it comes through as a type of debilitating, grayish, sometimes charcoal gray light. So this shows a, a weakened energy, um, a depleted energy, um, and depending how intense the fear is, it can be very pronounced in the auric field, especially if there's a sustained fear that's going on. And the biggest challenge about fear is it tends to have a paralyzing effect. So if there's a moment where really I should be doing something, but I'm not doing it out of fear of what might happen, I've paralyzed myself into action. Now, fear in this sense as we're using it is, is not the same thing as, let's say, being aware of danger. Let's say I'm in a challenging situation, literally. It could be, in, you know, maybe there's somebody that might want to even hurt me or something. Then I have to be very alert to know how to handle things that's not the fear I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is 
the quality where we give uh, a challenging situation so much dominance that we think it, it's something that will just overpower us and that we don't have any ability to do anything about it. Um, when we get into these states, we are taking in the immediate situations and we, we can't kind of see the bigger picture at that moment. And then the challenge of the moment just seem overpowering. And then when some difficult things do happen, it just seems to reaffirm our fears. But fear, remember, starts as a consciousness. It doesn't start as what's happening to you. And you can be in a very difficult situation or have some unfortunate things that may happen and still be showing a lot of courage and inner strength. So here we have to kind of take a moment inventory and say, well, what am I afraid of right now? You know, what's the worst thing that could happen to me right now kind of a thing? Um, and that kind of tells us where we're at in that area if we have some of that right now. Now, it's interesting too because I may be in a situation where maybe at this moment I'm, I'm not in a, a fear of something, but maybe somebody close to me is afraid. And by association, I start picking up that fear and then I start thinking about other things that are worrying me that I weren't, wasn't so concerned of before, but the fear around me triggered my own reactions. So you also have to be careful that if maybe you're not directly in a fear state, um, are there people around you who are? Um, and what do you do about that as well? Now, there are many rays or many lights and energies that you can work with to help with this, depending on what's going on. But no question, the single most impor important one is the golden ray of wisdom light. This is a very dynamic energy, and it brings in courage. It brings in faith in the divine. Because what we're saying when we're afraid spiritually is in a sense we're saying, you know, God, there's something even you can't handle. We're giving this that kind of a power, not saying, yes, there is a challenging situation here, and there might be a moment I go through a rough moment here, but with the divine, I can get through this. There's nothing past the divine. There's nothing that the divine cannot handle. There's no challenge on this earth too great for God, for goodness sakes. There's an interesting statistic that those that are soldiers that are, you know, have a lot of fear going into battle, that they may not make it, as opposed to those that have a sense, oh, I'm going to get through this somehow, they unfortunately sometimes tend to be the ones who don't come home. Because unfortunately, sometimes fear, when we're afraid of something, we actually have almost the ability to attract that to us um, because we're in that consciousness. So we have to be alert, we have to be careful when things are challenging, but we have to be very dynamic and say, what do I need to do in this situation? And even at this exact moment, I cannot change something. I can change myself. I can change my attitude. I can stay strong in consciousness. And by divine law, eventually that's going to show up in my life. That's the law. Change your aura, change your life. So right now, this is a great time to build up the internal spiritual power and consciousness that we need to handle the, the dynamics of what's going on in life right now. All right, so we'll bring down this wonderful ray. And if you are thinking, yeah, you know, I might have a little gray here and there. Um, if there's something you're particularly aware of that, you know, a fear you want to be released from, as the light is coming down, you're just silently asking, I release myself of this. And I know there's a divine solution to this problem. Okay, here we go. Heavenly Father, Blessed Holy Mother God, we raise our consciousness 
into thy consciousness where we become one with you. We ask to receive that which we need and that which we need to know now. As we hold in that golden sun above our head, we recognize here is our connection to the divine. Here is where our help comes from. When we want to understand, when we want to comprehend, we go to our own higher nature and lay the problem on the altar of God. Let it go. Welcome the divine in that part of your life. We ask now that you downray from the celestial source the dynamic golden ray of wisdom light to bring forth all the dynamic attributes of the divine that we need, especially today the attribute of courage and fortitude to dispel any fear wherever it is harboring in our mind, in our heart, in our emotions, in our body, so that we are strong in our oneness with the divine. We stay centered in that oneness. Thank you as this golden light blesses the higher self point. Beautifully igniting it in the golden ray. And we can feel the enormous strength and power of our higher nature. It is perpetually in the divine oneness. It is perpetually in the wisdom and confidence of God. And we can access that higher nature at any time. And thank you for downraying this light. First, to surround the auric field itself, bathing us in this beautiful baptism of golden light, shedding from the outer aspects of the aura any fears or worries that might be around us, that we might be picking up from the environments we are engaging in. Other people, even if they're not verbalizing it, but might be in those fear distressful vibrations. To shake that energy from our auric field. And then to downray this light to our mental center to bring forth a strong, dynamic power to the mind so that our mind is centered on the divine mind, the divine solutions, clarity of understanding. Give us that dynamic strength that we need. And if we are needing to make important decisions on anything going on in our life right now, that we have all the wisdom and understanding to make the best decision possible and to stand by that decision. And if we are harboring any fear thoughts, to exhume them from our mind. We may not have the answer to everything right now, but with the divine, those answers will come forth. And thank you as this light down rays to the throat center to bring more confidence and self-assurance in the words we speak. And if we have been speaking worry, of worry, of fear, of apprehension, 
or we are accepting words from others in that worry and fear and apprehension. To release them now. To be strong in spiritual tone. The compassion that we've already asked for, but also the strength that we need in speaking to others. And thank you for downraying the golden light to the heart center, our hermetic center, and out into our world, into the activities of our life, bringing more courage and strength and spiritual fortitude. And if we are harboring any energies of fear that is paralyzing us into action, on things we may need to be doing right now. Grant unto us this golden ray of courage so that with God we take that dynamic action. We do the things we need to do. And thank you as this energy blesses the emotional center, that energetic point by our navel. And here sometimes emotions do get the better of us. We get emotionally agitated or worried or afraid. However irrational it may feel, or impulsive, or justified, or whatever. If there are any fear vibrations now in the emotions, we ask you to dispel them and bring forth this golden ray so that we feel confident, we feel courageous, we know emotionally we walk with God. And thank you now as this light outrays through the physical body so that physically we have the strength for whatever is going on in our life right now. And then again, out through the whole auric field so that we are glowing in the golden light. And we thank you also for sending this gold to that part of our aura called the color division. The division of our aura that's strongly connected to our character. To strengthen and bring a strength to our character. And as we may have been under various pressures recently, what did that bring out about our nature, the kind of person we are? We're sometimes under stress. We are, see our character more clearly. And help to strengthen this color division so that through any adversity we may be facing, we show strength of character, courage under fire, as they say. And in the end, remember, you, I, all of us are ultimately answerable to the divine. Whether you are getting acknowledged or not acknowledged for your good efforts, it is showing up in your aura. Do the right thing for the sake of doing the right thing. And now we thank you as this energy settles in and you are 
establishing a beautiful bubble of golden light of protection to help us stay strong in our spiritual earth understanding. And now as a wonderful group united in thy service, we ask from our higher self that you send the golden ray of wisdom light to the world to give courage to all who need it right now. Those who are going through very difficult or challenging times or those times are coming up very soon. Those that have been physically challenged, whether they have been diseased or distressed or injured or hurt in some way, may they receive God's inner strength. And of course, all the those in the medical and health world that are taxed sometimes beyond their endurance, may they receive the inner strength that they need. Those that are facing financial challenges, if they have been out of work, if they're worried if they can stay in their homes, for them and their families, they can feed their children. May they receive the great inner strength. And for those that are keeping us safe, whether in the military, in the police force, in all the intelligence agencies of the world, may they receive the light that they need. And thank you for sending light to those in the retirement and convalescent homes that have been strongly hit lately. May they receive the inner strength that they need. Those that are self-isolating right now or in confining situations and are feeling a sense of loneliness or apprehension, may they feel the inner strength of the divine. Those who are grieving for those who have died, may they receive inner strength through the golden light as well as the purple ray of peace to know that their loved ones are in loving hands. And let the light go to the leaders of the world and the important decisions that are coming up in the weeks and months ahead that could truly affect the course of civilization. May right decisions be made. And also, thank you as you are sending the light through a beautiful level of consciousness called the cosmic soul, an energy that embraces Earth itself and all humanity, to send forth the healing light, the loving light, the strengthening light, to remind humanity that we are all children of God, and we're all part of the great plan of life. And we're all equally precious. And thank you as the light is going to some of the most destitute places in the world, some of the most impoverished places of the world. to bless those dear souls. 
so that they know too how much God loves them. And to the various world organizations, the health world organizations, the monetary world organizations, the United Nations, all places that are working to work on a better collective level, may they be blessed because they will be called into service, even more so in the days ahead. And thank you as the light goes even to the animal kingdom today, to all the blessed animals, to the domesticated animals, our pets, to the wild animals. We thank you now for all this wonderful work. Help us to keep our spirits high and a smile on our face. Again, we thank you for being blessed in protection. Thank you, Barbara, for all the light and power you are holding and sending. Thank you, blessed ones, for all you brought in today. And thank you, everyone here. Until we meet again, we thank thee that this is so, so be it. Okay. Well, that will do it for today. Wow, that energy came in so beautiful. Well, we hope you have a, a wonderful week. Keep your spirits high, and we hope to see you again next Sunday. Thank you so very much.